have here uh, three people from Legislative District 18. These are three of the important people who helped drive this campaign. They're all residents of LD18, and I wanted to give them just a moment, because they're the people who, who this is really about. I wanted to give them just a moment uh, to share a few words about why they're here, about why they uh, stood forth. And so first, I want to introduce Mary Lou Bechter, who is a former uh, Republican precinct committee person there in LD18. Uh, then we'll turn the time over to Julie Jorgensen. Uh, Todd Selleck, who was the first person to come in and, and uh, pull out the recall papers, and then Amanda Zill. They're all residents of LD18. Thank you. My name is Mary Lou Betcher. It's spelled B-O-E-T-T-C-H-E-R. I am a Republican, as he already said. The reason I got involved uh, with this as much as anything was because of education. I'm a retired teacher. I've lived in Mesa since 1962. I do live in District 18, and I am very upset at the way the education system has lost and lost and lost since I have been there. As a retired person, I'm noticing that uh, some of you got some discounts for things, and I didn't, and some of the uh, things that, uh, because of that, why we're seeing uh, more taxes taken out of our, our checks than some of the others. Two things that I mentioned in just barely. So thank you and uh, thanks for coming and seeing us today. Thank you all for coming to this. This is so exciting. I've been waiting for this for 10 years. Uh, my name is Julie Jorgensen. Um, J-O-R-G-E-N-S-E-M. -E um, I have lived in District 18 since 1978. Um, I used to teach for Mesa Public Schools, and uh, I am a lifelong Republican and also a member of the Mormon Church, a lifelong member going back five or six generations. Um, in fact, my founding, uh, my great-great-great-grandfather helped found Mesa. So, uh, Basically, the reason I have cared about this is about 10 years ago, Russell Pierce was invited as a representative to come to our Mesa Public Schools Family Tree uh, program to see how we would teach English to the mothers and also teach uh, the children in the preschool next door. He came to our program and as he walked in the door, he said, I don't like these people. <laughs> that was the day that my eyes grew big and I said, what is going on here? This is not a good thing. And uh, basically, Russell Pierce has done everything he, he could to destroy adult education in the state. So as an adult educator, I still am a, an adult educator, um, it's important to me that we have someone in our legislator, in our Senate, who cares about education, who's not doing things to, to cut our education or, or diminish or destroy our education. So thank you very much. really basically the reasons why I've come here, started this motion, and been an active this soon, so thank you guys, and hopefully we can get things done. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure. Have you ever voted for this? Yeah, I'm here. 
years ago. Okay, what changed? Why? What, what happened in the years that you voted for Russell? My two kids. That was it. I just like you say, most voters usually count on the campaign signs for these directions. That's all I saw. It was a once a return. And obviously, due to the fact that some of the things that you learn through, you know, in children's education, obviously, you get involved in it and you see the things that obviously are going on within the education system and all you hear is cut, 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 cut. I'm not sitting there saying that's wrong because of the economy. How we basically can get our taxes full. trying to make this a better chance for me and learn for what it is for my children's challenges. Well, don't you think Russell's doing the same thing? I'm trying to do what he thinks is best for the state? Yes, he is. He thinks what he thinks, but not what I think now. You know what I mean? Like you say, do you think he's doing it for me? No, not personally. Who's he doing it for? Himself. I mean, once I got on this website, I just saw the things that obviously I believe in. Like you would say, the Citizens Initiative is a perfect example. But anybody want to sit there and go without question. You know, some of the things that do, you take the example of 10, 1070. Mm -hmm. What about 1070 and Russell's involvement with that? Well, it's not so much that. It's just that he believes that the Citizens Initiative should be without question. Without judicial <coughs> That's scary in itself. That's our balance of power between the systems that we have. Any other questions?